Hi girls, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a, um, a Sephora haul for you. And, um, and the only reason why I have like a little bit of a Sephora haul is because I had gone to a Sephora, um, about a week ago in, with the intention of buying, um, my first YSL lipsticks. And, um, my daughter was with me at the time and it was just like, so overwhelming like Sephora was so busy and I, I didn't know really what I wanted to get and I kind of just looked at some colors real quick and then I was just like I got to get out of here this is too crazy and um, so then I said I'd just do um, an online shopping um, trip I guess so I wanted to show you guys what I got just because a couple of these items um, you know a lot of people might be wondering about and kind of just wondering um, what they um description wise might be like so i wanted to start off with i'm going to start off with my ysl lipstick and i got two and i'm returning one and um the packaging is really nice um this one is the color number eight and it's called fetish pink and ysl lipsticks are just so pretty in the way they're packaged and the reason why I'm returning this is because it's a really vibrant pink. I don't know if that's showing on camera to your color or not. I'm honestly like, I fight the sunlight. Um, and probably what I'm going to end up doing, um, I've got a curtain in front of me and it's a white curtain. So like I can still see the beam of sun just like coming at my face. So I have a hard time like it's bright for my eyes in here right now. Um, I might get like a, a darker curtain to kind of black out the sunlight so that when I am filming, it's not just so bright and just drowns out the colors. Um, but um, natural lighting is great. I do have um, my light kit on too, just to see maybe if it would kind of help um, bring some warmth <laughs> into here. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, so as far as this YSL lipstick goes, it was when I put it on my lips, it was not, it was like a pinky coral to my lips. And I don't know why it like showed up a little corally because it doesn't look coral at all. It's a very pink lipstick. So I don't know why um, it was showing up a little bit coral toned on my lips. So I'm going to return that and get, I believe, number seven. I think it's called lingerie pink. Um, but then I got a sheer candy um, lipstick and the color number nine, um, which is just um, cool guava. And it's really pretty packaging again. And this is a, a pinky sheer lipstick, kind of like a balm, basically. Um, with these colors, um, and I'll swatch it for you. You're not going to be able to really see it, I don't think. Maybe you'll be able to see just a little bit of a um, sheen to my skin. Um, but these remind, the sheer candy YSL remind me of the, um, like the L'Oreal, um, balms, um, just with a very, um, smooth consistency, non-sticky, just a wash of color basically to your lips. And the YSL lipstick in general, I mean, when I swatched them in the store and I was looking at different colors and stuff, it, I don't think I've ever felt a more creamier lipstick and just like they're very pigmented um but they are just so so smooth on your skin it's really really nice and then um the next product that I got is this NARS powder and I have it in the pouch that it came in and this is the um I don't want to butcher the name it's the translucent crystal light reflecting pressed powder like this and I've got the little um, thing on it still I have been using this and um, you'll be able to see kind of like a little bit of my bronzer got on it um, but with this powder um, a lot of people said that when they got the pressed version um, they weren't able to get any um, powder off so what I did is I just took my finger and just lightly dusted it over the top of the pressed powder and that removed um, the top um, layer and it wasn't even that much I mean it was just like I quick I quick swiped my finger over the the top of it and then that little like barrier um, was gone and then the actual powder was right there so I'm not really sure um, 
what it was exactly that was on top, but it works fine for me. And I use it to set my under eyes and I use it to um, go over my whole face. So today I have do I do have that on. As well as um, I picked up the Laura Geller Enlightenment Eye and Cheek Palette. So it looks like this and it's just like a brown um, packaging with a magnetic close. I'll take the little thing off here and I'll show you the colors. And this is a smaller palette, but honestly, like the colors in here are so, so beautiful. And I'll swatch them all for you. I do have um, the blush on as well as the eyeshadows today. And the two that I use are Grace and Innocent, which are these two right here. And then I did use this blush today as well. And that was called Blushing. And I'll show you the blush swatches first. And I'm, I'm swatching these heavy too, just to make sure that they're gonna show up on camera. And then I'll swatch the eyeshadow right next to it. They are very, very creamy. They're a creamy consistency. They're just really, really nice, honestly. I definitely think it was well worth the, um, it was $55, I believe. I mean, that is a lot of money for four eyeshadows and two blushes, um, I think. Um, but anyway, those are the blushes right here. Um, let's see here. The first one is blushing. And then the second one is awakening. And then these two shadows right here are the ones that I have on my eyes today. That is grace and innocence. And then these two right here, Angelic and Pure Glow. And then, um, or wait a minute, no, I'm sorry. These two right here, I think. I can't see my swatch. <laughs> it's so bright in here. Anyway, um, those are the colors, and I just think they're really, really beautiful. So hopefully that's picking up okay. Um, but I thought that those were just really, really pretty. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my eyes fully today, but... Um, that's what I have for my eyes. Sorry, the sunlight is just beaming in. And then I do have um, the blush, which is the blushing on my cheeks today. So that is, um, those are a couple of the goodies that I got from Sephora when I went. And I did get um, two um, reward deals. Um, one of them was a Murad, Murad, Rapid Collagen Infusion, Fusion Age Reform. It looks like this. And basically, you're supposed to be able to see um, some type of results within about like two hours um, of where you put it. Um, I did think that it worked pretty good. So now I got a hair on me. Great. I hate when I get like little, I don't even, an eyelash. Anyway, um... And then my other 100 point reward was a Shoshido, Shoshido, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, refining moisturizer. And it's just a little, a little guy like this. And um, I've been using this and it is really, really nice. I don't know what the retail price on this is. I'm going to guess that it's kind of expensive, but it's got a really nice scent to it. And it just feels really good when I put it on my skin. It definitely, it's not a, a heavy moisturizer. It's a light moisturizer with a really nice smell to it. I don't even know how to describe the scent. It's just a light, it's got a fragrance to it, but it's not an overpowering fragrance at all. Um, I really do enjoy it. So that is what I got. Um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know, comment below. Thanks so much for watching.